I don't know about Phasmophobia. Um, I've seen a few other people play it and it hasn't enticed me. I don't actually get it. I don't know how the game works or what it is. I just keep seeing people waiting in a room or in a van. And sometimes they're walking around a house and they're just dropping shit and trying to pick it up. And uh, I look at it and I go, well, it looks like shit. And it looks like ghost hunters or some bullshit. And this is a thing I, I never want to... If you enjoy this sort of stuff, don't worry about my opinion. However, my opinion is... I hate ghost hunters and shit like that. I don't even watch it. Anything where it's like... And I mean fucking anything. Oh, we went to a haunted house and we played a cassette player and hopefully the static sounds like it might be spooky. Oh, we went to a haunted house with like night radar video and... Oh, I heard a spooky noise. Did I? No, I didn't. We went to a haunted house and nothing happened. But somehow we've made a 45 minute episode out of it. Out of our creative bullshit and this kind of communal agreement to just make shit up and lie to each other. I hate that shit. And I hate that shit the same way I hate... Do you ever remember you used to get television programs? Could could somebody could somebody realize for me, please? I'm I'm getting a, an older man. Has anybody lost an older man recently? He... I'm sensing he loved trains, you know, until some weeping person in the audience is just like, <laughs> my granddad. Yes, yes, it's your granddad. Uh, Bill, B -b -b -p 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 Picard, Philip. Uh, his name is Philip. Yep, Philip. I'm, it's, it's Philip. Come on down. Come on down. Oh, I'm getting a, I'm getting a thing from Philip here. Philip says, donate me some money. Cold reading, psychics, all those people, as far as I'm concerned are scammers. Now, I don't know if they're just lying to other people or if they're also lying to themselves. But as far as I'm concerned, those are people who take advantage of other people. And that makes them scumbags. But there's this whole, like, people buy into it. And I'm just like, I, how? Why? And I've got that same attitude towards these. Ooh. We went to the haunted mansion overnight with our film crew. And people are like sitting there and again if you find it genuinely entertaining and as far as you're concerned it's just entertainment i hope you get every episode on dvd i hope you fucking love it i'm not trying to shit on your, your enjoyment but i have like a real visceral reaction to all of it and it's not positive oh we took our film crew to the manor Ooh, because i heard there's a spooky guy ah did i hear something what did the electro ecg voice phenomenon box i.e some janked up bit of bullshit that some tech made off in the studio that's a cassette recorder that's set to a really bad frequency. <laughs> Did you hear the in all the sh? What could have the been? 45 minute episode. Airs weekly, every week, season 20. Millions of people watch it every year. And I'm just like, oh, it's like this weird tacit communal idea that everyone has to just live in a fantasy lie. And if you want to do that, do it. But it also comes at the expense of vulnerable people. So, religion. And why I hate the church. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Long story, so... Somebody asked, have you played Phasmophobia? That was the question. <laughs> Mikey, have you played Phasmophobia? 15 minutes later of being on blast. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Anyway, that's why Phasmophobia doesn't interest me. Because um, hunting around a house looking for ghosts doesn't fucking interest me. It is literally the kind of entertainment I despise. That being said, do you want to know what my... Do you want to know what type of monster scares me the most? When it comes to a horror movie, and here we go, here's the difference. When you watch a movie, unless it's a documentary, there is a tacit agreement between the audience and the film to believe that the film is reality. You watch a film like The Matrix, and you know, touch wood, kind of hoping on this one, you know that maybe we aren't in the year 2077 plugged into big red battery tubes. 
but in the world of the matrix you watch the film and you believe that's the reality because that's the film going experience so horror films horror video games love them and the one type of horror supernatural thing that genuinely scares me and genuinely gets under my skin is ghosts i don't believe in ghosts i think people who make a profit from the world of ghosts are scumbags who take advantage of emotionally vulnerable people but the thing is vampire werewolf frankenstein mummy i don't care most of it in a horror film zombies most of it in a horror film oh it's coming it's coming quick shut the door you shut the door you lock the door it's locked out oh there's zombies shut the door there's a werewolf outside well shut the door ghosts you can't shut the door if you're in a if you're in a haunted house the door is the problem you can't trust anything it like it's like a breach of safety the safest place a human being can ever go or ever be after a long and difficult day. No matter what kind of day it is, you've had emotional, miserable time. The safest place you can ever go back to is your own bed. In the safety of your home. Ghosts. A ghost can get right in bed with you. That's terrifying. That's why the haunting of Hill House scared the shit out of me. Penultimate episode of all the doors banging. It's not shut the door. The door isn't safety anymore. The door is the problem. The threat is in the safe place. The threat is in the safe place. It's in the house with you. Ghosts. Terrifying. Anyway, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Should we go raid?